Hello and welcome to Hashtag Cam Book, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day, a staff member will take an object from the permanent collection, share it with you, and post some questions below. Make sure to tune in at 10 a.m. every day for a new object and a new chat. My name is Summer Cook and I am the exhibition's assistant. Let's get started with our object today. The object that I will be discussing today is King Philip II of Spain by Titian. I chose this work primarily because of its significance in history and it's a great example of royal portraiture. The painting was produced around the time that Philip ascends to the throne after the abdication of his father, Charles V. In this oil on canvas, he can be seen holding a scepter, which is an ornamental staff held by a ruling monarch. It's a popular addition to regal paintings, and it represents imperial authority. A celebrated king in his own right, Philip's vast empire stretched around the globe, leading to the country's height of influence, power, and economic success. He was also one of the most powerful men in the world at the height of the Renaissance. The artist, Titian, is an incredibly well-known Venetian painter whose versatile talent is reflected in forms of portraits as well as landscapes. Many of his paintings are considered masterpieces, and some do think that he is the most famous painter in Europe. During a good portion of his life until his death, Titian actually worked directly under King Philip, living at his court. This resulted in several portraits of the monarch, as well as many commissioned works for the king's private collection. Many other institutions around the world have their very own version of a portrait of King Philip II of Spain. There are several reasons why I find our object at CAM unique. As an avid lover of all things historical and someone who enjoys art of the 16th century, I find it really extraordinary that the museum has an oil painting of a well-known European monarch. Throughout history, this particular work of art has also been really well documented, revealing a detailed line of ownership throughout its various homes over time. The painting actually never left Titian's studio until his death after passing to his son. To many hours of research, we can actually find out that we have a record dating back to almost 500 years where the history and the ownership is traced. And it's also believed that the painting has been left unfinished and it may have been intended as a model for future portraits of Philip. Moving on to some discussion questions for today, what about this painting makes Philip seem like a strong monarch? In regards to royal portraiture, the artist usually inserts objects in the painting as well as does a certain painting style to make the person in the painting appear like the most strong and able-bodied leader. What kind of things do you notice in this painting? Also, do your own research and check out some other works by Titian. Why do you think he is such a renowned artist? What makes his paintings stand out? What makes them masterpieces? Thanks for joining us today on Hashtag Cam Look.